Lactose is the main carbohydrate in milk. It is a vital source of energy for young mammals who depend solely on their mother's milk for nutrition. They can readily digest lactose as they have high amounts of an enzyme called lactase. Lactase breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose, which can then be absorbed by the body and converted into energy. However, lactase production begins to decline as we get older. Some human adults continue to produce lactase and can digest lactose without issue in their adult lives. Conversely, lactose intolerance is when a person is unable to digest lactose in milk because they lack the lactase enzyme. Consuming dairy products causes bloating, gas, and diarrhea in such individuals. A 1981 study found that the percentage of people with lactose intolerance varies. About 5% of Scandinavians are lactose intolerant, whereas the frequency in Central Asia is as high as 80%. In East Asia, the numbers are insanely high. 90 to 100% of East Asians are lactose intolerant. There are also cases where certain lactose intolerant individuals can consume dairy products without experiencing any ill effects. This variation in inter-individual lactase persistence may be due to differences in intestinal flora. Interestingly, several ethnic groups that are heavily lactose intolerant still have some milk in their diet. These groups include the Mongols, the Herero, Nuer, and Dinka tribes of Africa, and Hindus. However, they consume milk in the form of fermented products, like cheese and yogurt, which have lower levels of lactose than traditional milk. If you look at a frequency map, you will see that regions with high temperature showed a large percentage of lactose intolerance. A study found that lactose intolerance decreases with increases in both latitude and temperature. The cold conditions at higher latitudes allow milk to remain fresh for a longer time whereas warmer climates and deadly diseases negatively affect cattle rearing and the availability of milk. Due to this, people living in Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and South America didn't develop the trait to digest lactose after infancy because they simply weren't drinking as much milk. On the other hand, people whose ancestors came from cattle herding tribes of northern areas, as is the case in Europe, can digest milk more readily. The weather conditions in Europe were favorable to raising cattle stock and safely storing the milk. In humans, lactase persistence reached an appreciable level only in the last 10,000 years, roughly when the Neolithic Revolution occurred and people began cattle farming. According to Darwin's theory of natural selection, the increase in dairy cultivation gave a strong selective advantage to people who could drink milk as adults without any ill effects. Lactase persistent individuals survived longer and enjoyed better health, therefore increasing their chances of reproducing and spreading this trait in the population. Adults living in high latitude regions can readily drink milk because their ancestors lived in areas where milk was available for consumption. They passed on the trait of long-term lactase production in adults. However, most Asian ancestors lived in conditions that were unfavorable to dairy farming, so they didn't require lactase to digest lactose as adults. As a result, they did not develop the mutation for lactase persistence, contributing to the regional variants in this condition we still see today.